guys, welcome to Yielding Town Bridge, which is the longest medieval bridge in Kent, believe it or not, which stretches for 455 feet. <gasps> breathe in and breathe out. I'm sort of standing in one of the uh, cuts. And uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Um, very, very cool little place. Comprised of like six arches, so you can imagine six arches here, which are obviously I'm standing underneath them. And it crosses the river Butte, or Butte, as well. So, yeah, really nice bridge. Also the River Med as well. Um, as you see, when I walked across, there was two systems of water that it goes underneath. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Probably picked quite a crap day for it. It's quite muggy today, um, very sticky. Um, but yeah, really nice bridge. Longest one in Kent to go figure. Well, medieval bridge anyway. Quite a busy bridge as well. Um, but just amazing. It's so it is it is long. Um, you know, there's no question about it. I mean, you know, when you walk across it, it's amazing to think that it's actually a bridge because the fact that obviously it crosses. Uh, there's a massive part of Greenland in the middle, which you can kind of see Finger of Doom. So just amazing really, um, because obviously as you know, Yording is prone to flooding a lot. So places like this, when the river bursts, then it gets quite busy. So yeah, there you go. Just a lorry passing, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, really hope you enjoyed this one. Mini video as always, but you got to see me walk across it, like with all the other bridges that I've done. I thoroughly recommend you come down here and check this one out, because it's the longest one in Kent, medieval bridge-wise. Um, again, it's nice because they're all sort of situated with each other. A lot of them are in quite close proximity. The problem with this one is you can't really get down underneath the bridge, which is a bit of a shame, because some of it is actually houses and gardens, and then the other side of it is actually just pure, um, well there's a churchyard on the other side and then like I said you've got this green land in the middle which is actually quite marshy believe it or not so yeah definitely worth checking out, hope you enjoy it. Anyway guys, catch you later, speak soon, bye.